So, I mean, tell us what it's all about today. Yeah, so basically, today I've been invited down from the PFA uh, to the club by, by the club just to attend the sessions. Obviously, it's great to see um, Pompey first team player you know, uh, engaging with the community, and it's great to see the community leaders from the mosque, from the local schools here as well, showing their presence and their commitment for a partnership with, with the club. So, what is your role at the PFA? I work on the education department for the PFA Union Learning Fund uh, and also in quality. So I basically go around to clubs delivering equality sessions to first team players, but at the same time working with the club's community departments to put on sessions like this where we're engaging with um, minority groups. Well, you've come to the right place because I mean Portsmouth, you know, it has quite a diverse community as well. Is, is that something that you, know, you guys looked at and thought, you know, we're, we're definitely going to go there? Yeah, for the PFA that's massive, you know, and it's great to see, like I said, Pompey FC today in a school, the Madani Academy, engaging with young people who have no association really with football and speaking to the local imam there, that's what they want. They want their young people who are 15, 16, 17, 18, do something positive with their lives, breaking down those barriers, but not just working in Asian schools, but working in the mainstream schools around Portsmouth, you know, opening up people's mindsets. It's great to have that link and obviously football, as you say, you know, it is unique in the sense it can break down those social and political and religious barriers. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. Football is the hook. You know, they, if you walk around the community or um, with a local mask, they love football. You know, cricket now is a pastime. You know, see cricket in the, you know, in the summer sometimes, but now they love football. And speaking to the young people who are 16, 17, 18, they want to work for the club. They want to be those role models for the yeah, future generations. I mean, how much of a difference does it make to having first team footballers come down to show their supports projects like this? Mate, it's absolutely massive as well. So it's great to see Nigel here today, you know, showing his support. It'd be great if other players, you know, also did the same as well. Not just a session like this, but whether it's disability, education, you know, mental health. I think it makes a lot, lot of difference as well. Yeah, 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 quick up. So we need to have better reactions. Knees. Head, eyes, heart, can't see. Mouth, ears, head. 